Hi, I'm Dr. Singhania from Singhania Clinic and I'm here to talk to you about biomedical interventions and treatment for autism. As you know, autism is a very complex neurobiological disorder. It is epigenetic, so there is a genetic, underlying genetic vulnerability. But a lot of recent research is showing us that uh, the environment interacts with the genes to increase the likelihood of autism. And with the very rapid increase in autism, autism prevalence worldwide. In the last 15 years, a lot of focus has been uh, on uh, biomedical abnormalities and how they can be treated. So what is biomedical? It improves the biological or the biochemical profile of the cell. It looks at the root of the problems and rather than treating the symptoms of autism, one treatment may show great benefit whilst another may not. But the additive effects of multiple biomedical treatments is very very helpful. Not only is it an adjunct to treatment, but it helps other interventions like in, because it improves brain function and it makes it easier for children to learn. Now, I would like to divide biomedical intervention into four sections. One is nutrition, where you clean up the diet, you add supplements and you have specific diets like gluten-free, casein-free diets. The second part is toxins. We know that these children have difficulty with uh, detoxification or cleaning up their system of poisons and things like pesticides or heavy metals. So the important thing is to clean up the environment, remove all these heavy metals and uh, plastics and other toxins. And if the child cannot uh, remove them uh, from its body, then we may need to do chelation. Uh, allergies. Uh, it's known that any form of allergy, whether it's the IgE type or the delayed onset IgG type or what is known as food sensitivity, can cause increased inflammation and thus increase or increase the symptoms of autism. So it's important to identify the allergens, remove them and treat the inflammation. And finally, there is cellular support. Now we know that mitochondrial problems occur in almost 20% of children with autism. Mitochondria are the battery which provides energy to the cells. So helping mitochondrial support, supporting mitochondria, brain cells and other barriers like the blood-brain barrier and the gastrointestinal or the stomach barrier. Well, typically, biomedical treatments are uh, consisting of improving the diet, treating food allergies, remove the gluten and casein from the diet. Now, gluten is the large protein uh, found in wheat and casein is a large protein found in cow milk. And these are not digested adequately and they create morphine-like uh, peptides which can make the child more withdrawn, high tolerance to pain etc. Uh, you may have heard of vitamins and mineral supplements but these have to be in high doses unlike the regular vitamins you get into in the market and of particular importance is vitamin B6 and magnesium because they help with methylation which is an important reaction taking place in the cells in our body which helps to turn the genes on and off which helps to clean the body etc. Essential fatty acids or what we call omega-3 are uh, now known to help with speech, with mood and a very important part of the biomedical treatment. Gut treatments. Now uh, you may have heard of dysbiosis or uh, that there are holes in the intestine which allow things to enter the blood from the intestines rather than uh, acting as a barrier. So there are holes in the barrier lining the gut and this needs to be treated. Many times uh, this dysbiosis is because of vitamin deficiencies, because of fungal infections, to many antibiotics with normal bacteria are not uh, adequately present. Then there are others like amino acids, melatonin, thyroid supplements, uh, sulfation, glutathione which is a very uh, detoxifying agent, chelation, immune system regulation. So let's talk of food. Food is very important because it is this gives the genes breaks or blocks to create things. So the genes use food to repair the body, to build the body for development so what we put into our mouth affects our whole system and uh, it's very important to have organic food have so which is uh, devoid of pesticides it's very important to have fresh vegetables and fruits and if a child not eat these kind of foods then make mix it into a puree or add it and hide it in some way should have good uh, adequate amount of protein there should
should be less sugar because sugar can increase fungal infection in the gut sugar can increase sudden uh, cause a sudden spike in the blood sugar and make may make the child hyperactive of course junk food which is full of food coloring and preservatives and all should be completely avoided uh, fat we use to cook should be uh, the good kind of fat like coconut oil uh, food allergies are well known in children with autism and these can damage the gut lining and uh, so uh, removal of these is an important part of uh, treatment uh, vitamins and minerals we've talked about it and of course they are available in vegetable fruits and other sources but because these vitamins and minerals form coenzymes they help to get the enzyme uh, reactions going in the body they are very important for all the essential reactions to take place in the body they act as catalysts and coenzymes and sometimes by giving them in high doses these children can actually reverse some of the effects of autism so vitamins and mineral supplements form an important part of the treatment uh, it's important to give juices fresh vegetable fruit juice is a rich source of these vitamins calcium supplements are essential because we are taking uh, out of the child's diet if you're seeking help please book an appointment at singhania clinic by calling 04-4298-498 or email us at reception at singhania clinic.ae we are located at dubai healthcare city thank you for watching